Hello, Jimmy. This is Neil Carroll. I know that everybody who loves you feels your light, um, warming their hearts and guiding their path. Thank you for the good memories you left me as a little boy playing catch with me uh, in your driveway. Um, you bring me back to uh, a time of innocence and uh, I think the love of family and friends uh, is most important and will help us get through uh, our darkest times. And uh, for that, um, I am forever grateful to you. Um, so God bless, pal, and until uh, we meet again. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, God. Oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. I kind of can't believe it's been 20 years. It feels like yesterday. We had such a perfect night the night before. And I tell that to everybody. Remember? We put Finn to bed because it was the night before his first day at school, at preschool. And I remember laying in bed, nursing Charlie, and you just looked over at me and said, Trish, you're doing such a good job. And I remember saying back to you, thank you, but it's only because of you. And I think about that all the time and how lucky we are to have had that. Um, the boys are amazing. You would be so proud of them. I know you are so proud of them. I know they feel your presence, but I mean, Finn is so wonderful. He's such a handsome, smart, kind young man. He graduated college with an accounting degree. He has a job lined up in the city. He's so independent. And so, oh, he's so put together. And Charlie is your spitting image. I mean, he's you to a T. Everybody loves him. He has so many friends. Uh, he looks exactly like you. He's so laid back. And he's so sweet. We see signs from you all the time, honey. Thank you so much. We always see our red foxes, always, and our dragonflies. And we know that it means that you're with us always. I miss you so much, honey. And I love you. And I don't want to rush it, but I can't wait to see you. Give my mom a big hug. I love you, honey. Bye. Hi, Dad. I miss you so much. I admit that for the first few weeks that you were missing, I thought that you were still alive, recovering in a hospital somewhere with minor injuries. It was pretty naive thought, but after all, I was only 11 years old. I've looked after mom and Caitlin, but it hasn't been easy growing up without you by my side. The last time you saw Caitlin, she was five years old and she came downstairs to have breakfast with you. And then you tucked her back in bed and said, I'll see you later, Caitlin, baby. Caitlin joined you in heaven four years ago. Just one month shy of her 21st birthday. We just dedicated a playground in memory of you and Caitlin.
I love you forever. And butterfly kisses always. Until we meet again. Bye, Dad. how weird this would be, but, you know, Dad, uh, just, you know, thinking about you lately, and, you know, you left us on a Tuesday like this, stupidly lost my vision five months later, which, you know, it's good you're not, good you weren't here for that, <laughs> um, but yeah, Jesse and Nico are doing, doing really good, Mommy's doing good, and, now, I'm getting married soon, so, you know, just got engaged, so. It's my beautiful Zoe, and, and I wish you were going to be here with us for that one. Um, walking around with this stupid cane sucks. Uh, lost your vision five months after you died. I lost you and my vision all at once, and you know? I hate it, and, you know, it really upsets me. All, like, you know to no end sometimes, you know, and I guess that's why I get angry sometimes, so easily sometimes. Um, Miss you, I wish I had you here to talk to you about, about, about it and stuff, and you could put me straight, you know, put me in my place when I get upset about it and stuff. And that's why I need you. That's why I need you here. Um, I just, uh, <laughs> Mets ain't doing so good right now, they just collapsed so in their season, so... Oh well, 2021, that's how it goes, I guess. No, it's just... It's just how it is. I didn't think I would get so emotional doing this. <laughs> um... Just being on the ferry with you and you take me home from work once in a while and wish I can go home from work one one day and meet you down at the ferry, you know, I think that would be would have been awesome. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, I just <laughs> I love that sound <laughs> that one. <laughs> it always brings me back. Spend time. Um yeah, wow. Well, Trying to like, you know, learn how, learn a little bit how to make like repairs in my own home, like you would do, and just makes me feel happy when, like, even if I just change a light bulb or screw in a door handle that that got loose or something, that just that makes me feel good to know that like I did that. And, you know, I think in some way you might be a little proud of me doing that. Uh, hopefully, I make you proud. You know, with what I'm doing in life. I love you, Dad. We miss you here, yeah, and wish you were gonna wish you were here with all of us. Love you. Talk to you soon. Hey, Dad. It's Matthew. Um, 
I don't really know what to say, if I'm being honest. I, uh, I have all these things going through my head and I'm just, um, I'm just standing here wondering to myself how any of this is real. I, um, I don't know, man. I, I just, uh, I just wish that um, you that you went quick and uh, that's what they say and that's that's what we were told but uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I don't know I was lied to but um, I don't know I thought of all of the worst possible things that could have happened to you. Um, and uh, I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't um, consume my mind with those thoughts for so long and unfortunately I did. And, um, I know you're at peace now and I just wish, um, you know, I just wanna hear your voice again. Um, just want you to I just want you to um, tell me that you love me. Um, I uh, I wish you could just give me another sign that, I don't know, things are okay. Um, but uh, I love you and um, miss you and talk to you soon. Hey, sis. Yeah, it's Sam. Yep, 20 years. Yeah, I know I can't believe it either. Feels like yesterday. Whole family misses you. That day lives on in, uh, every day in our hearts. I remember there was, there was one time where a couple of weeks before your accident, you had broken your arm on, with Ricardo, you were riding him, and came over to the house. We were inside the kitchen, and I opened up the, the door and accidentally hit your arm, and man, did you scream and yell at me. <laughs> you were so mad at me. I didn't pick up the phone to say I'm sorry. <laughs> 20 years, sis. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry at the end. I'm sorry that we couldn't find you. I'm sorry we couldn't save you. There's not a day that goes by that I just hope that you're proud of all of us. I miss you so much. I want you back. One day we'll all be together. Some of us are already up there with you. But I won't see you for a little bit. I'm not done yet. Got way too much. I'll see you soon. In my dreams, when I'm at your grave.
And I promise, all of us will never forget. I love you, Karen. With all my heart. Bye, sis. For now.